Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to continue with a Schneider Electric's ATV 12 drive where, where we're going to be setting up the drive today in running a 2 wire control, 3 wire control, explore a bit more about the potential uh, well, the, the parameters and obviously you're going to be using potentiometer as well and if you haven't seen the last video where we commissioned the drive and uh, run the drive in a local mode that is going to be in the description below and also all the manuals related videos and everything else that i think it would be beneficial for you that is going to be in the description below as well so before we get started guys if you uh, are interested in any of the parts that we are using in this video you can find the links to our website uh, for them uh, in the description below so without further ado let's get started okay all wired in let's have a look at what we are going to be doing first and the first one is going to be we are going to be our a two wire control two wire station in here and yeah, let me zoom out a little bit here we go two wire station in here where well, you can see we're going to have our e-stop we must just remove the power to uh inputs we're going to run forward run backwards jog button and also we're going to be using a uh, potentiometer as well and potentiometer this one in here what i've got in here that is manufactured by schneider as well and the one my one is rated at 10 kilo 10 kilo ohm so uh, uh the maximum that is the maximum that this uh, this drive allows and so the recommendation is roughly about two kilo ohm but you can use other kilo ohms as long as it's between one and ten so uh, that will uh, work so regarding wiring so wiring i've got my 24 volt signal coming from the drive to my e-step going through my e-step but then it just powers up all the all the switches in here and then uh, then you get the number terminal number three which is my start signal is going to go to io1 and the reverse is going to go in my io2 as you can see down there for the d for the um, jog button i'm using two buttons because uh, to jog it it requires the run signal and those signals has to be operated at the same time so you can see down there if I, if the power goes uh, is also going to, uh, the, uh, to number three which is my start button and at the same time my uh, uh, cable five going back to digital input three and as these two are closed uh, these two are closed it closes digital input one and digital input three and effectively activates a jog button hopefully that makes sense so and regarding setup Oh, this is where the fun part starts as well. It's quite straightforward if you know you head around the menu, but if you don't, you might have to do a bit of a study, but that's why I'm here to show you how it's done. Uh, you choose a macro. By default, the macro is a start-stop macro, so uh, and only one input is assigned, and that is a logic input one, and that is always done. There's nothing else. You can just run forwards. You can uh, run your frequency, and as you can see down here from my... I uh, forgot to mention as well. My three cables coming out on my of of the back of the back of the potentiometer. They are going all the way to a uh, com a I don't know AI one and five volts and that uh, A is zero one. That is more or less for the current. Um, so uh, to change the parameters, where's that? Uh, to change the parameters to basically assign the digital inputs like you want reverse and we want like jog and things like that so we need to go in a, in a function uh, in, a, in a parameter group called functions and that starts pretty much in a page 64 of the manual that is going to be provided in description up below if you go on page 64 this is where pretty much all the parameters that are in function group will be more or less explained and we are going to be just, uh, what they each do and we are just going to show you how to set up the what we are going to be doing uh, today so uh, no, no, we don't need to do that there we go configuration full and then we go all the way to fun functions and the first one we want to set up is, is uh, we want a reverse so it sort of looks like rrs so in here as you can see down there i already have a set up a, a logic input two so uh by doing that so it's at the normally is like that just uh, go for logic input two and press enter and that will be assigned for that uh, that uh, that function is going to be assigned for that logic input uh, and then the next one we need to just find jog 
and then in a jog you do the same thing you assign it to l3 and now you will have jog unfortunately there is not much of a uh, wiring diagram so i presume uh, so uh, the Schneider wants you to prevail the common sense so uh, i already explained you the wiring and things like that so uh, uh, that's pretty much how you assign uh, the logic inputs so the one more thing that we're going to do we need to a uh, do uh, no in here we need to change our uh, a uh, acceleration to acceleration now and i forgot where he is uh, here he is acceleration time change that to one second so we just have better ramp up time oh and the acceleration we're going to change that to one as well so just why did i press that so there we go so that's down so that is done in configuration and obviously yeah i want to that's done pretty much in configuration so so having done that let me put the cover back on i'll show you how that runs okay the station has been put back together and just to mention as well the logic uh, the not logic the the jog frequency in this drive is set to five hertz and i can't seem to find any way you can change it and as far as i understand from the manual readout it says you can't change it either so uh unless i'm uh, broken otherwise that's what we're going to be doing sticking for so uh that's what the station looks like still so, to run forwards just forwards and also here we go we got a nice uh, potentiometer in here it will not work for reverse unless the reverse air uh, forwards has been removed so that's a pretty much uh, how uh, that works and if you by any chance are in this you can uh, implement that function so that it removes the power from the inputs to you there's also you can assign one more for quick stops or things like that but we're not going to do that for this as you release as you release as you can see it goes back on so yeah it's not the safest thing you can do so uh, there's a bit of an electronic way it needs to be done to control this better but this would be the way if you would use this station and obviously if you have a jog button that's how it pretty much you as you can see every time i push it will move five hertz at a time and it cannot be adjusted and that's how the two wire control is done next let's have a look at three wire control okay three wire control has been wired in let's have a look at how the station is going to look and how the button's going to work so in here we have e-stop obviously to east, uh, remove the power to the inputs then we'll have a stop start forward and start reverse obviously the legend place doesn't play, uh, tell what it is but it's more or less because different dice work differently so this drive just needs to be separate so uh, it will be start forward start reverse and then we're going to be using a uh, potentiometer as well and when it comes down to wiring and this is where we are using two uh, another normally closed contact where number one comes to obviously our, uh, our e-stop it goes to e -stop, then it goes to our stop button which is normally closed contact don't forget that and then it goes through the normal close contact and then the signal goes back to digital input one and then it follows on to a uh, other uh, start uh, start reverse and start forward so the, the okay, digital input uh, two is going to be our start forward and then the input three is going to be our, our start reverse and then obviously we'll have our potentiometer for the speed control so that's the wiring but before we get uh, can get uh, can really get started we need to uh, change the system to three wire control to do that you can go on to configs uh full C uh, no, not cfg ios and if you see the parameter in here it called i think it's called tcc in tcc you go in there as you can see they already have selected the three wire control but you will see that control so if you want to change it roll it forward hold it for about two seconds until the source a small light stops uh, flashing and returns back to tcc that means the parameter has been changed and the one more thing else we need to do we need to because it's once it changes that it will uh, only program two inputs which is l1 and l2 start and stop and but we need to uh, program in a reverse and plus you have a one more digital input left so if you wish to have a jog button you can program in jog button so uh and for that we need to uh, uh go to leave that io we need to go to functions as usual 
and then there we need to find RRS and in here we are uh, already have assigned to L3 which means is now going to be a starting in reverse so done that so uh, one more thing I want to check is my acceleration now that hasn't been changed so that will be it for regarding what all, all everything you need to do to get yourself in the three wire control it's a very good control especially because you will when you smash the e-stop it will not restart the system and then uh, that's uh, that's one I would suggest to do if you are using this type of controls without a uh, uh, external uh, e-stop uh, function to remove power from the motor so let me put the cover on and i'll show you how that works so the cover is on so to start quite simply we just start and basically it just works as a standard the, the direct online starter so uh there you go that's our frequency and by clicking reverse it will quickly shoot back in reverse so that's actually quite interesting. Here we go. And it goes the other way. And by clicking the e stop, it will shut the system down. Again, you can adjust you can adjust how the system stops. And it's ready, the drive goes back in the review mode, and we are ready to start up. Again, that's how works the three wire control the my favorite control by the way guys these stations as you can see my lay by my legend plate, these stations are all available on our website if you're interested, by the way. And uh uh, or depending on what drive you are uh, needing these uh, stations these legend plates can be printed to wherever you want pretty much so uh, so that's uh, that's that pretty much and that will uh, do when it comes down to two wire control three wire control uh, hopefully I have covered everything and there's quite a lot of explanation for you guys and see a good way around this drive also this is my third drive that I do in uh, Schneider Electric and I'm sort of again very much familiar with uh, how their menus and everything works and so on okay, so easy so this one worked out quite a lot easier for me than than, than than the previous ones so i don't know ladies and gentlemen if you liked the video please like if you didn't dislike comment below ask any questions if you wish and uh, i will answer them as accurate as i can and of course as soon as as i can so thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video